He's a local four-year-old in the fight of his young life, but he's far from alone. He has a chance to make it because of these wonderful, amazing people who are selfless. This all started with a bump on the head, but it has turned into a force of goodwill and a four-year-old determined to keep doing what four-year-olds do. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with Steven's story. Hi, Doc. Devin and Kimberly, you know, when Steven Hohauser developed a bump on his head last summer, his parents thought a falling shampoo bottle was to blame. But when it didn't go away and Steven developed a fever, this Rochester Hills family suddenly found themselves facing a devastating diagnosis. Yeah, what happened? Four-year-old Stephen loves Legos, trucks, trains, and cats. He loves his big sister, Angela, too. She's been there to help hold his hand through a journey his family never imagined taking. We found um, a mass in his chest and then the mass in his head, which was then biopsied, um, and we found out that he had stage four neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma, it's a cancer that develops from nerve cells and most often strikes children under age five. Steven is undergoing chemotherapy, but he's needed something else to help him fight. Regular transfusions of red blood cells and platelets. Without you know that, he wouldn't be able to continue his treatment because he, his body wouldn't have anything to fight with. Mom Mariana says the impact is almost instant. Within five minutes of having a blood transfusion, he gets his cheeks become pink, he becomes alert again, he's happy, he's running around, he's playing. It's a gift this family is forever grateful to receive. He's my, he's my, my little guy. And uh, he's only four. He has a chance to make it because of these wonderful, amazing people who are selfless and um, who are just giving 20 minutes of their day to save a life, and that's beyond words. While most people think of donated blood going to accident victims, a significant portion is needed by patients battling cancer. When blood supplies drop too low... To know that there's a potential that they may not have any blood for him because the banks are low, I fr kind of freak out a little bit inside, like thinking, okay, you know, is there gonna be a good Samaritan today that's gonna donate the kind that he needs? They've created Stephen Strong bracelets and shirts to raise awareness about neuroblastoma. We're a big Star Wars family, so this one has the lightsabers, <laughs> lightsabers on there, and then a train, because he loves trains. They feel the force from their family, friends, and all those anonymous blood donors. Everybody is pushing us and giving us strength. Stephen still faces surgery at the end of the month, more chemotherapy, a bone marrow transplant, and radiation. But Mariana says his doctors are super optimistic about his prognosis. So it's going to be a long road, but he's doing, he's doing amazing and responding super well. <laughs> Through it all, Stephen is still smiling, still playing, still laughing. We don't even do one day at a time. We do one hour at a time now. And, and go from there. And I mean, he's just an amazing little, little boy because he's our little champ. The family has created a Stephen Strong Facebook page to keep everyone up to date on his fight and help raise funds for the growing medical bills. Now, of all their worries, we hope blood will not have to be one, but there is a severe shortage right now. In fact, Local 4 has teamed up with Gardner White and the Red Cross to help change that. There are drives being held tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 7.45 p.m. at the Gardner White stores in Auburn Hills, Canton, Macomb, Warren, Waterford, and Taylor, and from 11.30 until 7.15 at the Brighton store. And for more details, go to the health page and click on Detroit.com. If you can donate, please, please do so. So critically important for Stephen and really anybody for that exactly. matter. Exactly. Everyone across the region. All right, Doc.